first glance, you might think that I'm on the plains of eastern Africa watching wild animals roam around. But really, I'm at the San Diego Wild Animal Park. It's as if this park has been designed for animals first and people second. The animals are king here. The park originally was designed only for animals and planning in people was an afterthought and our solution to that was to put people in cages, the silent monorail, and turn the animals loose. In watching our animals, observing our animals, you see some of the same behaviors that you would see in a wild setting. Mm -hmm. uh, typically in, in zoos, some of the animals show signs of uh, stress from small environments. You'll see them pacing back and forth a lot and different types of behaviors that would indicate the animal isn't as content as what it would be in a large exhibit. Uh, with uh, mixed species and uh, more uh, animals of its same species. You know, there are thousands of animals here at the San Diego Wild Animal Park. Over 30 of them are listed on the endangered species list. So let's go on a mini safari and see how many we can spot. Entering the park is like venturing into the animal kingdom. Look at all of these different kinds of animals living together and sharing the land. They seem very content. Maybe it's because they feel safe. And maybe it's because there's plenty of space so it's easy for all of them to get along. Well, most of the time anyway. This animal is possibly one of the rarest in the world. It's called the white rhinoceros. Did you know that there's only 31 worldwide? Uh-oh. Do you think these two are trying to tell us something? The friendliest animals seem to be the giraffes. Ooh. <laughs> Here you go. There you go. Or was it the carrots they were after? One more and then I gotta go. Later. Aren't these gazelles graceful? And did you know these animals are capable of running 50 miles an hour? Look at those huge wildebeest. They usually weigh up to 400 pounds or more. This beautiful animal is called the impala, known for its leaping ability. It can leap 8 to 10 feet vertically and can cover 30 feet in a single bound. This is such a wonderful place. I know if I were an animal, I'd like living here. Uh, when the animals are relaxed, and um, interact with each other in their specific herds in a more naturalistic uh, situation, it just lends to better breeding situations. Uh, at the Wild Animal Park, we're uh, high up on the list of different zoos who have uh, bred endangered species. One of the more important success stories is the Arabian oryx uh, propagation that we've had here at the park. Uh, in 1961, uh, Operation Oryx was started and it was primarily because the Arabian oryx was virtually extinct in the wild. Uh, due to the invention of automatic weapons and four-wheel drive vehicles uh, around World War II, it was very, very simple to go out into the uh, desert regions of uh, uh, the Middle East and the Arabian Peninsula and virtually uh, hunt these animals into extinction. Some of the uh, last remaining Arabian oryx were captured and uh, brought to various zoos and we received uh, initially six animals from the Phoenix Zoo and since that initial time uh, in the 70s we've uh, uh, had 264 Arabian oryx born here at the San Diego Wild Animal Park which has enabled us to send over 40 back to the Middle East and some of their native habitats that uh, 